camera keeps overheating, so I can't show y'all everything I'm doing. Well, you wanna see what I'm doing? That's what I'm doing. What's up, America? Ah, I'm sighted. No wind, no wind. <laughs> a month, 20 mile an hour. Today, no wind, none at all. Well, maybe a little, I don't think any. Anyways, let's get out here. Going to Ray Bob. Ray Roberts. You ain't never heard of Lake Ray Roberts. Man, it sure is a nice lake. It's a pretty lake. It's a pretty new lake in, re in relation to all the other lakes. You know, it was impounded in the 80s, I think. But it's a great fishery, guys. Has some big old crappies and big largemouth bass in that sucker. Big cats, too. Can't wait to get out here. I'm gonna do a little crappie fishing like usual. That's what I'm doing this time of year right now. The lake is a little different last time I was out here. Last monthish, month and a half, those crappie been holding in certain areas, and I can't. I think they moved out of there last time I was over here. It was a little scarce in there, so I'm having to search for them. I'm having to scout. I don't mind doing that. It's just, ooh, takes time. Catch less fish because you spend more time looking. But you know, if you're gonna go, out, if you're gonna go after them biggins, you're gonna have to look for them. I'm gonna look for them. When I catch those big ones, I typically find them one at a time. They're not grouped up. The big ones are typically by themselves. I'm finding them on a lone tree, maybe in 25 foot of water, have a four foot little stump sticking out of the ground. There'll be one fish sitting on it. And uh, once I pluck him off of there, then I have to move. There's no more on there. So I have to go find another one. So yeah, it's, it's real time consuming to get after them big ones. Um, now there's a point where they'll stack up together on some bush bushes or brush piles and and if you find those you do pretty good but the way I've been finding them is standing timber one at a time so and don't get me wrong I run across a school of keepers huddled, huddled together on something I'm gonna sit there and pick on them but that's just how it is I got three or four jig poles uh, four jig poles and a minnow pole back there I'm gonna take some minnows with me um, I'm, I just, I'm not gonna pass up fish because they're finicky. I'm gonna switch baits and, and keep catching. Um, I'm not gonna go all 100% jigs. I'm not gonna go all 100% live bait. I mix it up. My plan is some biggins and probably limit out because it's just how I roll. I'm gonna put some fish in the boat. I'm excited, guys. Ain't no wind. I'm real excited. Hope y'all can tell. I get excited about fishing anyways. Been doing it all my life and every time I go, I'm excited. It's like a little kid at Christmas. I get excited when I'm going. I get excited when I hook up. Hey, I got something else to tell you guys. I forgot all about it. Woo! No more using crappie max rods after probably today. Hopefully today. Been using them crappie max rods and they ain't gonna cut it. These rods, these old crappie max rods, they're pretty nice looking rods. But whoever designed them and engineered them, don't use them. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Man, they use these cheap eyelets on the on the last eye, the, the lead eye. They got a welded ring around them. The, the cross brace comes back and welds a loop around the back. Well, those rods are really long and out, when you're out there moving around and stuff, your rod tip's doing this. And it causes your line to lasso around the tip. Well, it'll lasso around the tip and back lasso around the eye. Well, then once you do that, you can't get it off. And if you're using like a, a 12 foot rod, you gotta feed the rod all the way back into the boat to unwrap the tip. Well, if that if they'd used a better eyelet, then that line would just slide off the tip. It wouldn't hang up. But no, they gotta use the cheapest crap they can find when they're making these rods sometimes, especially these bulk box store rods. and. Yep, the line hangs on that loop every time and I've got to feed that rod in and it's irritating as all get out. Not to mention, I just can't get the rod to load up and then when I'm going to set the hook, I've got way too much flex, not enough backbone. So I'm having to set hard and, and, and really reach, you know, for that hook set. And uh, I've lost a bunch of fish like that. I just, I can't boat flip them because I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of the roof of, their, roof of their mouth and hooking them in that soft tissue 
And when I go to boat flip them, it just wants to tear through and pull out. So, uh, I'm going to a new rod company and I'm excited about the relationship and uh, you'll see those really, 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 really soon. Hopefully, I was expecting to already have them. I wish I had them today. I'm also partnering up with a real company, PC Fun. I'm excited about that. What I'm excited about that is, is I'm a big proponent on not spending a ton of money on rods and reels. Now, you want good ones for your situation, and the more you fish, you know, obviously the better you want your equipment to be because you're gonna really run it hard. But uh, with PC Fun, they have no brick and mortar stores. They don't go through retail. So you get such great prices on good products because it's all e-commerce, kind of like the Amazon model, you know? And uh, I love that because I'm able to get things you know, if I wanted to buy a reel, I would be able to probably buy, for example, I'd be able to buy a $130 retail reel from a store for probably 70 bucks from PC Fun. It's the same thing, same reel. I'm excited about some new partnerships. I'm excited to get in some new equipment. I'm working on a couple of more. Stuff I think I like, something I think you guys are gonna like, and something the companies think that you guys are gonna like based on watching what I do. So I'm excited, I hope you guys are excited. Oh, and my merch site is going live this weekend. Hopefully I'll put a link in the description of this video. And if you guys like the barfly stuff, and this is something you haven't seen before, short sleeve sport techs. These are a little loose fit and breathable, moisture wicking. Oh, I love these shirts, they're so comfortable. Anyway, I got some short sleeves and long sleeves in this Sport Tech. I got some short sleeves in a cotton poly blend, so it's more like a regular cotton t-shirt, but with that poly blend in it, it doesn't shrink up. And then, I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of spared no expense on some of my shirts. One of my shirts has eight color print. I mean, you don't normally see that a lot. Um, you usually see a solid color shirt with one color print on the major brands because it's too expensive to print multicolor. But hey, my logo's multicolor, so guess what? We run it multicolor. And uh, cost me a little more, but the product's real nice. And I hope you guys like it. going to start out with a uh, eighth ounce chartreuse jig head and a little that's what I call a stick bait right there I don't know what they're called but I call them a stick bait because it sticks straight out pink chartreuse eighth ounce jig head loop knot split shot up about I don't know 18 inches found me a little submerged tree has maybe a couple fish on it a little oh I got one got a fish Boat flip this one, unless he's too big. He's a big one. He's, he's nice. He's too big to boat flip with this stinking. Too big to boat flip with this stinking crappie max rod. Oh yeah. First fish of the day, guys. Went about 15 inches. I ain't even kidding. Look it. <laughs> That's a 14 solid, if not bigger. Got him in the root and mouth. He choked it. Swallowed her down. I, he wasn't getting off. That one wouldn't. But I played him right. So didn't hurt him. But yeah, that's a beautiful fish for our first, for our first fish off the pile. Man, right out here in about 26 foot of water. Not bad at all. And he, I didn't get his gill. He's bleeding a little bit, but I didn't get his gill. That's just from the roof of his mouth. Let's see if we can get him in here. Oh, it's the trash. Run this aerator a little bit. Dad, gun, that was nice. We've got a solid 14, possibly bigger. First fish out the box. Fogging up my glasses. So. Dad gum, humidity's really high. Got one. Oh, that one's a big one. 
If that's a crappie, that's a nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Don't surface way over there. Oh, if that's a crappie, he's a hammer dog. Oh my goodness, guys. This one's bigger than the last one. That's my second fish. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at the mouth on that sucker. That fish is enormous. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, the girth. Huge, huge crappie. Tearing them up, and I just got here. Ah! I'm excited like a kid at Christmas. I ain't even kidding. Ah. Got a fish right there. Oh, here he comes. Oh, and I got him. I was looking at him. He was looking at me, and I didn't know it. Oh. Since these fish have been so nice, I want to make sure, and if I'm going to boat flip them, that I uh, get a net underneath of them. That's three solid hookups in the roof of the mouth. Now this fish is more like an 11. So if you've been looking at them other fishes, look at that. That's like an 11. So compared to the last two fish, there's no comparison. No comparison. I still got him in the roof of the mouth too. What we're going to go with is a 8th ounce chartreuse head, shad colored translucent beaver tail, split shot about 14 inches up off the bait. And uh, make sure we got her on good. We'll drop it down. I'm going with a little bit longer rod. And see if I can get into that crevice of that tree with this bait. Those, those fish like to sit in the fork of the tree, guys. They, they like to sit. If you can get your bait into the forks of the trees, you're going to have a little bit more success in there. Got one. Got one on the G. How nice is he? Oh, he's a keeper. Oh, he's a nice one. <laughs> Got one on a G. First drop. That'll go 11, 12 maybe? 12? Does look like a 12 to you guys? I think he looks like a 12. Let's see how close I am at my measurements. I say roughly 12. All right? That's what I say. I say 12. Now let's get him in here. I knew he was going to flop. He always, they always flop. Soon as you let go. All right. That is 10, 11 and a half. 11 and a half. I said 12. It's 11 and a half. 11 and a half look good though. Man, that's a good looking fish. Good looking fish. Awesome. Oh my goodness, man. It's nothing but big fish down there. Nothing but big, huge fish down there. Golly, guys. <laughs> that guy, he got hammered on something. I don't know if a gar got him or what, but look at that fish, man. Dad, come look at those fish. Shoo. Liking these things. heck fellas where should I fish now them big trees that old creek channel back there feeding it that feeder creek or should I go up to the 922 bridge and fish Elm, Elm Fork of the Trinity coming in should I go fish them rock bluffs over there I got creek channel out there might have some brush piles in it Lord we out in the middle of nowhere Body armor. Love your body armor. Got enough white bass out here blowing up to choke a horse. It's everywhere. I figured out why the catfish are cruising the top of the water. Saw some more. There's grasshoppers out here floating there where they jumped in the water and they're swimming around. Those catfish are cruising up here eating them grasshoppers. Got him. Feels like a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, guys. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Nice fish. Oh, way better than one of them other ones. Oh, yeah. That's another 13, 14 right there. So, yeah, we need to we'll get in a box and clear out one of those 10s, 11s. I only have a couple of those. And we'll put the bigger one in. Let's see what we got. You got to get one swimming. There's a little one. Let's see. There's a little one right there. You don't want to, I'm going to set you free, maybe. Maybe. Just stop flopping around. Which one's bigger? Oh, yeah. So see? We'll keep the big one. We'll let the little one go. Pew! He's gone. Big one in the box. Got him. Oh, he feels nice. That feels like a nice fish. Make sure that if he is a nice fish, he gets in the net. He's in the net. All of a sudden, end up on some hammers again. Boom! With the jigs. And uh, get in there and replace them little small ones with the big ones. There we go. There we go. Hopefully he's a sizable one. He is, he is, he is. Mm. Hammer. Hammer, hammer. Boat flip. <laughs> Had a great day. Had a great day. Having a great day. Hey, I'm excited. I'm like a kid at Christmas. Can y'all tell? Look at that. I got all kinds of hammers in there. Another hammer. Oh. Oh, boat flip. Got him. Nice dog right there. Look at there. Nice fish. Oh, man. That's a nice fish. Yeah, hey, guys. I'm tearing it up. I think I got one more fish left to go to have limit. I've been out here about half a day. I don't know exactly how long, but half a day. Got here just before noon. And, uh, about four o'clock not quite four so yeah i think i did pretty good today got got me a fish all right guys that's a big 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 old crappie and it's my limit fish oh big crappie big crappie and it was my limit fish yes sir that's what i am talking about boom 25 of these suckers all day long and I still got half a day left Woo! look at that mm -mm -mm. bam that's what I'm talking about fellas there's some big old dogs in there there's some big dogs in there <laughs> guys I'm absolutely roasting it's about 4 30 and it's tired been out here in this hot sun since about noon, a little bit before. I mean, I tell you what, it's hot out here. It's worth it. I limited out, no problem. More than 50% of my uh, limit are humongous slabs. The other half are still respectable, respectable fish. No tins, none of that. Caught a few tins, tossed them back. Got, caught some big ones, replaced them. So uh, yeah, so I'm fishing a lot of structure like this. Now, I don't fish as much of this structure as I do these little ones or something you can't see under the water. But uh, I'm out here in the middle, guys. I'm running, the, I'm fishing the creek channel. Uh, right where the creek channel drops off, I'm finding timber on that drop off. And I'm just having a good time, guys. That's it. It's July 3rd. I knew I'd be with the family through the 4th. And I wouldn't be fishing. And well, I had a good time. But glad you guys came with me y'all have a good evening y'all have a great fourth of july weekend i'll see y'all on the next one